One indicator for the oncoming winter is the movement of bears into their dams. In order for a bear to survive through hibernation, they need to consume 20,000 calories daily. That is equivalent to 10 double cheeseburgers, 10 large fries, and more than 15 milkshakes. However, this year, reliable food sources have been tough to find. This year, white bark pine production is low due to drought, plus it's a cyclic crop and that's one of their main staples in the Yellowstone ecosystem, in the Northern Continental Divide ecosystem. Berries are a big fall food source up there. And they lost their berry production due to weather conditions. And when bears don't have that source, they have to travel more and work harder to do it. To prevent human bear conflicts, groups such as the Defenders of Wildlife, along with the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks, are providing preventative measures such as these bear-proof containers which are proving effective in thwarting bears. Along with preventative measures, wildlife managers are also trying to develop a better understanding of bear habitat and populations. One current study is trying to determine a population estimate of grizzly bears in the northern Rockies. People responsible for managing the grizzly bear population in northwest Montana have decided over the past few years that the most important piece of information they could have was to have a defensible estimate of the population size for the entire ecosystem. So we've worked with local experts, biologists, managers to sample nearly 8 million acres to get this defensible estimate. Research and a push for prevention are methods being used to create a healthier cohabitation between ourselves and one of our state's greatest treasures. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.